Jamaicans vote in three by elections and in sport, West Chris Gale wins a defamation case against an Australian media company. I'm Ricardo Roberts and this is Caribbean in 10 for Monday, October 30th. I'll be back with the details after the break. For your business or promote your event through the services offered by the Caribbean Media Corporation and Carib Vision. Our distribution provides a platform on cable, terrestrial television, and websites. We cover carnivals and events from across the region. We can bring your event live and alive to the world. For music makers, program producers, businesses, we can expand your reach to an excess of 2 million households daily. Our other services include news updates to enhance your media products, studio space for program and development. We can facilitate the launch of new products and services and training. Contact us and we will help you unleash your creative ability, develop products and services, and provide the medium to watch them grow. Contact Loretta Skeet at cmccaribbean.com or call her 1-246-467-1044 or 1-246-253-3889. Call and book your carnival or event today. We begin in Jamaica where residents in three constituencies headed to the polls early this morning in by-elections to choose new candidates to represent them in Parliament. The polls opened at 7 a.m. local time and are being conducted in the constituencies of St. Mary, Southeastern, St. Andrew Southern and St. Andrew Southwestern. The polls closed at 5 o'clock and the Electoral Office of Jamaica expects to be able to announce the results by 7.30 p.m. A close watch is being kept on St. Mary Southeastern where in the run-up to the election there were some tense moments. One of them relates to the nationality of one of the candidates, the main opposition People's National Party's Dr. Shane Alexis. He is facing the ruling Jamaica Labour Party's Dr. Norman Dunn. The by-election in that constituency stems from a vacancy created when Member of Parliament Dr. Winston Green died suddenly on August 14. The candidates in St. Andrew Southern are the PNP's Mark Golding and the JLP's Dean Dennis. The PNP's Angela Brown Burke and the JLP's Victor Hyde are the candidates in St. Andrew South Western. Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt says he has held very successful talks with European leaders and aid donors and there is a strong commitment by the international community to help rebuild his island battered by Hurricane Maria last month. Skerritt, who returned home from Brussels and London over the weekend, told this morning daily news briefing that while he would be providing details of the trip overseas during his Independence Day address on Friday, he was very comforted by the continued, by the continued demonstration 
of concern, care, and solidarity to Dominica by the international community. Skerritt said he also met with many officials within the UN system as well as the European Union, and what was important was there was no rush end meetings. The Prime Minister also revealed that he had received word that the United States Agency for International Development is providing an additional 2.5 million US dollars and he is pushing for even more. In Trinidad and Tobago now, opposition MP Dr. Rudal Munilal is calling on Minister of Legal Affairs Stuart Young to either serve him with legal documents regarding alleged corruption or he will embark on a hunger strike. His threat follows yet another statement by Minister Young on Friday that Dr. Munilal is to be served an alleged corruption uh, during his period as Minister of Housing under the People's Partnership Government. We get the details in the CNews report. MP Dr. Rudal Munilal said he will embark on a hunger strike providing Minister Stuart Young doesn't serve him legal documents. He was speaking to CNews via telephone. I'm contemplating you know, a hunger strike in front of his office until he serves me the documents. Because he's just joking and trying to distract attention away from the incompetence of the PNM government and the corruption of the PNM government. This is a government that has not proceeded to govern and spend $100 billion and has nothing to show. Dr. Munilal said for weeks now, Minister Young has been repeating his stance and he really thinks it needs to come to fruition. Minister Young is talking in Puerto Spain, he's talking in San Fernando, he will talk in Arima, Puerto Rico, and Scarborough. When you come to shoot, you shoot. If Minister Young has documents, he so serve me. Stop talking, serve. In fact, I get better service at any restaurant in San Fernando than I get for him. As for the hunger strike, the MP said this will be done in front of the constituency office of Minister Young. No, I'm thinking of, the, of, of having a demonstration in front of the office of constituents demanding that if he has any document to serve me, should serve me or shut up. Stay with us, your midday sport is next. <laughs> In this special 21st century show on United Nations Peacekeepers, a story of danger and courage in Mali, reconciliation in the Central African Republic, and peace building in Haiti. <laughs> West Indies batsman Chris Gale has won his defamation case against Fairfax Media after a jury found articles published in, a 26, in 2016 which alleged he exposed his penis to a masseuse were untrue. During the six-day def defamation trial in the Supreme Court, Fairfax admitted the articles published in the Sydney Morning Herald, uh, the Canberra Times and the Age were defamatory. A very happy Gale told the media that the victory was a triple century for him. I'm happy with the decision the jury has made. Um, they have actually made the right decision. You know, I came this far all the way from Jamaica um, to actually defend myself, defend my name and my character as well. And at the end of the day, I'm very, very happy to actually come to a, um, come to a close now. The verdict was clear cut. You did not expose yourself. Yes, that was a triple century. No, no. No. So I've actually have three triples now. 
Fairfax are talking about making appeal. Will you come back again, Chris, and fight again, if that's the case? Chris is a fighter. He will always fight. Was this better than... That's Caribbean Intern. Join us again at 6.30 for Caribbean Newsline. Good afternoon.